What's up, Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures. How you doing? This is a Warhammer 40k showcase video of a Primaris Captain. So with the new 8th edition releases, obviously there's, I'm, I'm sure you already know, <laughs> um, with the release of 8th edition and Dark Imperium, the new Primaris Marines got a, a, a shit ton of new stuff. Excuse my uh, bad language. And basically the Primaris Captain. So I painted him in Vallejo blue metal, a metal blue, like metallic blue colour. I forget the exact name of the paint actually. I'll find that out while I'm uh, I'm rambling. Uh, and painted him up, basically just for for eBay. Uh, he's sold at this time, so I can't help you with that. Uh, but basically, got like, um, you know, just painted him up to copy the box art, pretty much like standard ultramarine captain uh, in eighth edition. So really, really happy with the way they came out. I'm, I've said it in every video uh, so far, but I absolutely love the new eighth edition releases. The scaling of the miniatures in particular uh, is exactly how they should have always been. Um, they look much more, the much I mean, this sort of the normal marines now, the Primaris marines, um, are pretty much the same size as an old Terminator, um, which is what you'd want. So like, in real life, I believe uh, Vallejo metallic blue is what it was. Yeah, sixty mil metallic blue Vallejo. Anyway, um, yeah, this is pretty much the size that it should have always been. Like they're the size of Terminators, um, or the you know, the normal Terminators would have been, and they're scaled like true scaling is or was. Like you know, people would do in the community, like uh, commission painters and things. So really, really good. And then the new rules as well. I'm really liking Eighth Edition's rules, like the, in terms of the way the game plays and everything being sort of bigger and badder and better and stuff. Uh, just, just really pleased. Like in in total. Um, yeah, I've I've said it and I keep saying it and I've said it in all these other videos as well of like all the other eighth edition releases, but the Space Marines should have always been like this. And then hopefully now, um I know they've got the new tanks out and stuff, but if there's some new like Primaris Terminators, they should be even bigger. Um and you would hope that it's not gonna make the custodies look small. Or the I forget the is it Aquilon Terminators, the new um Legio Custodes Terminators. I think it's a Aquilon or Aquilon or something, but um, them guys anyway, like they're really big as well. So hopefully, like all the scalings now are going to be in in perspective because in terms of reality, and and again I've said it before, but it was a little bit funny that they were so small because they're uh, they're like ten feet tall in in the law and all the rest of it. So really cool. Like I said I just copied the box art pretty much. We got like um, red outside cloth and bone and white on the inside, um, metallic blue. We got some of the just again just nice smooth blending. Uh, got some of the transfers and a little bit of freehand that we've got in the box um, I just copied pretty much the placement of all that sort of stuff the way that this blue catches light it was under a chrome a chrome base coat by the way and I think that really brightens up the um, the, the blue it looks really good if you do it sort of I did well it was basically the, the primer I used was army painter gunmetal so it's sort of like a dark um, you know like a, I forget what you call it almost like this colour, like a lead belcher, sort of a colour. Uh, and then did chrome, Vallejo Game Air chrome, as like a, a zenithal highlight from over the top. So then when you, when you sort of spray the the, the, uh, the blue over the top, even though it's an acrylic colour and it's sort of covered up, you can still see um, that almost a blending of the, the base coat underneath. And so the, just the way that it catches the light, even though, like on the leg for example, just up the very centre of the leg. That's how you would paint it with like matte acrylic colours, um, and it gives it that effect re really, really quickly. Because some of them, for example, like this um, Primaris Redemptor Dreadnought, um, this dude, it looks so glossy that you can't necessarily tell that it's all the colours are blended together underneath. Um, but the Vallejo blue, metallic blue um, was really good for that. So that I would say that. that uh, I would definitely recommend people using that. And then obviously as well, with the, the gunmetal primer from Army Painter, you could do it really, really quickly. Um, you could prime the miniatures with that if you had sort of, a, you know, 20 intercessors or something like that. You can assemble them really quickly, prime them with the gunmetal, and then just airbrush them this blue. And you've got um, the chrome, sorry, first, and then the blue. And you, in three layers, you know, you, you're laughing pretty much. Like, these, these look awesome. Even if I say so myself. So I would love to do somebody else, another metallic blue ultramarines thing. Um, I'm booked up with commissions for sort of two, well, at this point, four or five months now. I'm busy for a long time. But outside of my work hours, uh, in my evenings, my personal time, 
um, away from work, obviously, like on the weekends and things like that, I would, and I'm going to experiment a lot more with metallic colours because uh, I've got into them a little bit. Like Alclad 2, I've got Alclad 2 Candy Cobalt um, paint. Basically, it's like an enamel one, and the colour is beautiful, and I've not properly used it yet. So, more coming, <laughs> more metallic, more metallic armour colours coming. So that's your lot. I set up an Instagram account basically, uh, so it's at Powerhouse Miniatures and you can follow me on there, there's a picture of this guy, or uh, basically facebook.com forward slash Powerhouse Miniatures and you can find every commission I've ever done, <laughs> going back I think six years now, you can find everything on there and that's my main active account basically, it's like you want to follow me or you want to see pictures of this on there, uh, there's also in the link, uh, in the description of this video, sorry, there's links to my eBay shop. <coughs> Uh, and all that sort of stuff. There's loads of other videos on this channel as well, of like showcase videos and little tutorials and things. So as always, really appreciate all the positive comments, um, all the people that pop up out of nowhere and say just nice things. It's awesome. I love the community of people, and um, I think that's one of the strengths of this, the hobby in general. So thanks. That's it, and uh, cheers for watching.